Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here from PickDogs.com, bringing out my NBA Jam session on March 30th, 2023, man. MLB opening day, man. I'm excited. Y'all see I got my Rangers gear on. Hopefully, we have a better season this season, man. We got some excitement here in the D, man. DeGrom on the mound today. I will be in attendance. I can't wait to see what's going on there for my Rangers, man, we only got two NBA games today, man. The NBA kind of gave the MLB the front seat today. Shout out to the NBA for that, man. We still got a huge game tonight in the NBA, though, man. Uh, they did give us a gym tonight, so I'm excited for that, man. If you're looking for more of this great content, y'all know what to do, man. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And drop y'all like down in the comments. As you know, I love going through, seeing who y'all like, man. My best bets, they can be found over at Pig Dogs Premium. Just click that link in the description. Takes you right to my handicapper page. That's where you can find my long-term packages. Three-day, seven-day, 30-day, monthly, yearly, seasonal. You can also find all my plays for today's action. MLB, NBA, college hoops. Maybe a little hockey, man. But all my plays can be found in that link in the, my, in the description, including my top play every day, man, which is now 19 bucks a day, man. And... It could vary between MLB and NBA. So just be on the lookout for that every day, man. Just be on the lookout. Uh, I still will have a top play in the NBA every day. I promise you. I still will have a top play in the NBA every day. And I will have a top play in MLB most days as well. But my favorite play on the board could vary between each sport. And that my favorite one on the board every day will be that top one. And it will be 19 bucks, man. So you can scoop that up over at Pig Dogs Premium. I still got packages, you know, three-game packages, four, five-game packages, all that great stuff. So however you want to do it, you can do it over at Pig Dogs Premium, man. Hey, also, follow me on Twitter, at ParlayGuyJ, and check out my live show, which I'm usually live here, right here on the Pig Dogs YouTube channel every day, man. 3 Central, 4 Eastern. No live show today, though. Only two games on the card. And like I told y'all a minute ago, I will be at the Rangers game. So we'll be back with the live show tomorrow, man. Cook it up per usual. But on that live show, I usually bring on a guest. We update y'all on late information uh, and um, information that came out of the association that day, man. So... Uh, y'all can come tune in. We drop a parlay at the end as well. We smashed the parlay yesterday. Me, Brad, and my guy James cashed out on the three-leg parlay yesterday. So we'll be back with that show on Friday. Come June, tune in as we cook it up per usual. Two games today. A huge one with Milwaukee and Boston. I'm excited to talk about it, man. Without further ado, let's do just that. Let's make some money tonight, and let's hop right into tonight's NBA action. In our first matchup of the night, man, we got the two heavyweights of the Eastern Conference. We got the Celtics out on the road facing the Milwaukee Bucks. Milwaukee is on the back end of a back-to-back. -back. They did win and cover yesterday versus the Indiana Pacers team. They got the Celtics coming in. The Celtics did not look good the last time we seen them. They got hammered by the Wizards. Was it a look-ahead spot? I think so, man. I think they were kind of looking ahead to this spot here. I'm going to be honest, man. This game got a lot of huge implications riding on it. Um, Celtics can still catch the Bucks for that number one seed. You know, it's just a lot of things that are going on through this game. I'm going to be honest. I say this a lot. I don't like fading Milwaukee, man. I don't. I don't enjoy doing so. But I do like betting on Boston, and I'm taking the Celtics on the money line, man. I'm going to give me some plus money today think the Celtics go in here and win this basketball game I've said for majority of the season man the best team in basketball is the Boston Celtics I know they're coming off a clunker but I kind of like that they're coming off that clunker man in my mind that's a bounce back game for them and no perfect spot to do so other than this spot versus the Milwaukee Bucks man the two last defending Eastern Conference champions um, and I think the East probably does go through one of these two teams. Philly might have something to say about that. Cleveland might have something to say about that. But I think these are the two best teams right now in the Eastern Conference. I've been calling the Celtics the best team in the NBA for majority of the year. They have been kind of struggling here recently, man. But I do think we see them lock in tonight and win this basketball game. Injury report-wise, I see Chris Middleton questionable jay crowder questionable myers leonard questionable i see grant williams questionable robert williams questionable and peyton pritchard pritchard questionable i really want robert williams to play in this robert williams plays i think that kind of changes the dynamic for the celtics defense and they really will have a much better time defending at the realm especially against Giannis antetokounmpo 
in this one. So I really, really, really need Robert Williams to play in this one. If he plays, I'm on the Celtics' money line. This team is a deep team. They can score with the best teams in the league. I don't like fading Milwaukee often. Milwaukee does go stupid, dummy, crazy on their home floor. All that said, these are the two best teams, I think, in the Eastern Conference, man. I do think the East probably goes through one of these two teams. Fading Milwaukee at home is not for the weak-hearted, man. But I do think the Celtics bounce back and beat this Bucks team, man. Uh, we've seen these two teams face off twice this season. The Celtics did win the first one in Boston, 139-118. Milwaukee won the last one, 131-125 in Milwaukee. That game did go to overtime um, on the 14th of February. So this is the last meeting between these two teams, man. Both, you know, the Celtics looked good in that first one, kept the second one competitive, did lose it in Milwaukee. I think they get their revenge. I think they also bounce back today on the road. I'm leaning on the Celtics, man. I've liked them all year think they do go in here have a statement game that we are the most recent eastern conference defending champions man the east still runs through us we can come into your building and get this one done man celtics on the money line is where i'll be here in this one in our next and final matchup of the night man we got the new orleans pelicans out on the road facing the denver chicken nuggets man nuggets lane seven Total 229. This is what I'll say. The Nuggets, man, I do see Nikola Jokic on his injury report. That's questionable to play today. And I do also see this line kind of on the move right now. I see a few books with different numbers. So be careful. Watch how this line moves. And I really want to see what's up with Jokic. In that same breath, man, when the news does drop, if he's in or not, when the line does drop, ultimately, I'm probably going to be on the Nuggets, man. As the Nuggets still go stupid, dummy, crazy on their home floor, man, there's a golden rule in place. I do not fade the Nuggets on their home floor. It's just something I don't do, and I'm not going to do it for this Pelicans team. Have the Pelicans been playing better basketball uh, recently? Yes, as they have won four of their last five. I told y'all then, though, most of those games were fool's gold as they were playing the bottom-tier teams in the NBA um, you know, the only quality win that I'm going to give them credit for is that win over the Clippers, 131 to 110. Everything else was Houston, San Antonio, Charlotte, Portland. Not good basketball teams right now. So I think their winning streak was kind of fool's gold. They did in their last game keep it quite competitive with Golden State for majority of it. But then in typical Pelicans fashion, um, fell apart there in the end. And the Golden State Warriors won that basketball game. And uh, got themselves a home win and cover in typical Golden State Warriors fashion. That's just what they do at home. On the road, we fade Golden State at home. They just always seem to get it done. The best home cover team in the entire NBA. Right behind them, not too far, is this Denver Nuggets team. And I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a really similar result. Can the Pelicans keep this one competitive with or without Jokic? Yes, probably. But in that same breath, this Nuggets team can still play really great on their home floor, man, with or without Jokic. I'm leaning Nuggets with or without Jokic in this spot tonight, man. Uh, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., and the guys can still uh, lead the scoring load and beat up on this Pelicans team. I'm leaning Nuggets, laying the seven, man, as they do go stupid dummy crazy at home. It's not a great spot for the Pelicans as it's going to be their fourth straight road game. Yes, they beat the Clippers out there. Yes, they beat Portland out there. But I think the Golden State game was the more telltale game. I hope the Pelicans also lose every game moving forward. I need my Mavs to get in the playoffs, man. What a heartbreaker last night as well as the Mavs ugh, leading the whole game. I will say that officiating in that fourth quarter in that Mavs-Sixers game was Highly questionable, but still the Mavs did miss some open jump shots that would have changed the outcome of that game. So, you know, my $15 play was that Mavs yesterday. Still got a winning day, 3-2 and two, premium-wise in the NBA. Top play didn't go through. The parlay of the day went through yesterday, so it was still a nice winning day for me in the NBA. I just hate when my top play doesn't go through. I've hit four of my last six on that play. Uh, we'll get back on track today on that play, man. You can scoop it up. Pig Dogs Premium. I'm leaning Nuggets in this one, though, man, with or without Jokic. I think they continue to go stupid, dummy, crazy on their home floor. I think the Pelicans could really lose out. And when you look at their schedule, I think they really could. 
I think uh, that Golden State game was kind of a telltale game on what's to come. I think the Nuggets still beat up on them on their home floor. Nuggets laying the points for me. Here in this one. And that's going to conclude today's episode on the Jam Session on March 30th, 2023, man. Thank you all for watching. Smash that like button for your guy, man. Subscribe if you're new. And drop y'all like down in the comments. As you know, I love going through, seeing who y'all like, man. My best bets, they can be found over at Pig Dogs Premium. Just click that link in the description. It takes you right to my handicapper page. That's where you can find my long-term packages. Three-day, seven-day, 30-day, monthly, yearly, seasonal. You can also find all my bets for today's action, man. Including MLB, college hoops, NBA, of course, and hockey, maybe, man. You can find all that in that link in the description. Including my top play, which is now 19 bucks a day. And it could vary between sports. Uh, it's been just my $15 NBA Jam Session play, but now it's going to be $19, man, and it could vary between MLB, college hoops, NBA. It just depends. The top play will change every day, man. I still have a top play in the NBA every day. I still, with nine times out of ten, have a top play in like MLB every day. It's just it could vary on my top play every day, man. So it's going to be $19 a day for that top play. Scoop it up over at Pig Dogs Premium, man. Follow me on Twitter at ParlayGodJ and check out my live show that I'm usually live on right here on the Pig Dogs YouTube channel every day, 3 Central, 4 Eastern. Man, I will not be live today, though, as I will be at the Rangers game. And there's only two games on the card today. We just cooked them up, man, so y'all know how I'm feeling. Uh, I'll be back on that live show tomorrow. Same show. Bring a guest on. Uh, we update y'all on late injury news and information coming out of the association. And we cook up a parlay for y'all at the end. Me, Brad, and James cashed out on the three-leg parlay yesterday, man. I hope y'all caught that. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure my guest will be tomorrow, but I will be back tomorrow on that show on Friday, 3 Central, 4 Eastern. So tune into that, man. Thank y'all for watching again. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs. See y'all tomorrow, man. Let's make some money tonight. Let's keep the winning streak alive. See y'all tomorrow. I'm out of here. Peace.